Hello, everyone out there. It's Mark Rizzoli for the Gloves Are Off podcast. The Indian community in New Jersey being targeted by criminals, home invasions, carjackings, robberies, and thefts in Edison, New Jersey, target the Indian community. This is a direct result of the soft on crime policies by Governor Phil Murphy and the New Jersey Democrats. They have handcuffed cops and are protecting criminals. And you ask why you see an uptick in crime throughout the suburbs in New Jersey? Well, that's the reason. Soft on crime policies. Where are the Edison legislative representatives? Senator Pat Digan, Assemblyman Rob Karabinchak, and Sterley Stanley. Where are they? Nowhere to be found. Because the Middlesex County Democratic Party does not want fighters in Trenton. They want puppets. The Democratic County Chairman, Kevin McCabe, who has never governed in his life, that has no idea what it, public safety, the need for it in communities, wants puppets, not fighters in Trenton. And if you, you think I'm not telling the truth, just check at the recent Democratic convention in Middlesex County. It was rigged for Phil Murphy's wife. Amy Murphy, she won the convention. It was a rigged convention. So I have to ask the Indian community, why do you continually financially support and vote Democrat? The Democrats use the Indian community just like they use the black community. The Democrats are opposed to everything that the Indian community believes in. The Indian community believe in faith, the nuclear family, hard work, and the STEM education. The Democrats are all about identity politics, illegal immigration, protecting the criminal element of society, radical sex curriculum, DEI, CRT, their transgender agenda in schools. They're not about community. They're about power. We see it every day. Those of us on social media have seen the videos in Edison. Home invasion after home invasion, violent carjackings. So the Indian community needs to ask itself, what exactly do the Democrats do for them? They give you a lot of lip service, but they take no action. You've seen two attorney generals, Grabeer Graywall and now Matt Plankton, both have declared war on the police. You have a governor who marched in BLM protests while the rest of us are locked down in support of a violent drug addict named George Floyd who put a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach trying to elevate this criminal all over politics. So you wonder why crime is on such an uptick in New Jersey and violent crime. I'm a retired detective. I've never seen so many home invasions in my entire career. And those of us in law enforcement know for a fact the Indian community is targeted by violent criminals because they're a passive community. But this is what's happening throughout New Jersey. The New Jersey suburbs are under siege. The Indian community, I suggest, don't walk or run away from the Democrat Party. They're using you, using you for your money, for your votes, and they never deliver. You have Indian representatives who give you nothing but lip service. All of a sudden now, the mayor of Edison, broadband Sam Joshi, now he's speaking out because he's trying to cover his political ass. He wasn't speaking out with the flood of illegal aliens until recently when it's made the news and it's costing tens and tens of millions of dollars from the New Jersey budget. New Jersey residents pay high taxes and get nothing in return. You come here illegally, you get treated better in New Jersey. We're a sanctuary state. We might as well be a sanctuary state for criminals because cops arrest them and the judges, the judicial system, let them right out. Selective enforcement, that's what New Jersey's all about. We've seen Matt Plackton go after concerned parents harder than he goes after criminals, and that's a fact. I suggest everybody out there, it's time to wake up. Get your ass out and vote.
Vote by mail, vote early, but you have to vote. And don't vote Democrat. It's time to take back this country, time to take back New Jersey. Because we cannot continue this way. Why should anyone who pays high taxes be a prisoner in their own home? Or sitting in your home watching television or in bed and have some savage criminal crawl through your window or use a crowbar to bust down your door to steal your car. All because of the soft iron crime policies by Phil Murphy and the New Jersey Democrats. Craig Coughlin, the speaker. Senate President Nick Scateri fast-tracked all this insane legislation that protects criminals, handcuffs cops, protects illegal aliens, and takes from the resident the hard-working taxpayer of New Jersey. For the Closer Off Podcast, this is Mark Rizzoli. As always, please subscribe and share, and God bless America.